Okay, welcome to the show. Uh, we've got the Loose Kites here, Cheshire based. Yeah. Uh, what do you call yourselves? Folk rock? No, that's what Josh always calls us, folk rock. I'd, I'd call you folk people. rock. Not in turn. Folk fuck, that's what we are. Folk fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Neo skeptical. <laughs> um, if you want to start by saying your names and positions, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm Sai, and I sing and spin and get excited on stage. Okay. Right. I'm Dom, I play trumpet. Ollie, I uh, um, play the guitar and sing. My key, I play keys. And Josh on bass. Okay. <laughs> and Fuzz. Yeah. And Fuzz. And Fuzz. <laughs> just try to, to keep him organised. Okay. <laughs> he, gets, he gets me home on a Friday night after I've had too many tequilas. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, if we'll start by just guess, right at the beginning, I guess, if, if you want. Um, how you guys met and how the idea came to start a band. Oh, right. Who, um, who was the original members? We started with Ollie and I. And we were the Tuesdays originally mm. because we practiced on the Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> and that's about as imaginative as we were at that time. Quite an indie name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, how did we meet? I think actually, Jai. It was our drummer, drummer who's not here. Okay. Yeah, he introduced us because we'd both been in different bands and they'd kind of gone under, and yeah. we wanted to carry on writing. We met in a pub in Chester. And really? I remember, yeah, in Alexander's in Chester. I have no recollection of that. <laughs> I, I said to you, he's like, so what do you play? And you go, I don't play anything. And I'm like, bloody how's this going to work? Then? <laughs> <laughs> you don't play an instrument. <laughs> what, what do I do? You just play the guitar to you? I don't know. I've never had this before. <laughs> and then he sang you a sweet love song. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, I don't know. What do we you, can't, you can't serenade it, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just started a bromance and, uh, <laughs> and the rest is history. Uh, yeah. Now we have two kids and a really nice house. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, record. I think we recorded a couple of tunes, didn't we? Yeah, we had three songs. Two of which we. Do we play them still? Yeah, yeah and it do. was in the blood. Yeah. Bone of fried superficial creed, yeah. which I think you've got a, a, a sneaky version Somewhere of. Else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And there was in the detail. Yeah, and there were the first oh, three. Yeah. Hold on tightly. Hold on tightly. High maintenance, actually. High maintenance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we did. We were just recording them on a four track, didn't we? Yeah, it was at house. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And then uh, did Josh join in? No, Jai was next. Jai was next. But no, Jai was the uh, is a band for. Plays. Uh, plays okay. Yeah, he plays. He's not band. so much now. He was there. Yeah, yeah. I trust him now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't trust him. He's a band for. Song. Hence, uh, he's not here now. So why is, why is the guy here? What, what's his excuse? Because he's, he's, he's just boring. He's just rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. It's also a wedding ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he looks in the paper for kind of people that are getting married this is gonna go on. and then just goes, and yeah, just well, goes is, to their wedding ball. I'm sorry, Josh just said this is going to go online. Yes, it is Josh. And that's because Jai's not here, so this is this is penance yeah. for being so rubbish. Okay, we can take a yeah, okay. I think maybe he's a wedding crasher. Maybe he is, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's actually what it is. Maybe he's not got weddings, he just yeah. likes going to them. <laughs> maybe he just doesn't like us. Could be. Could be. Could be. Yeah. But he joined, but part time. <laughs> and then Josh joined. And then Mike joined. And then Tom joined. joined. <laughs> yeah. and, and then Poppy joined. We had Poppy in between. MB. Was that, 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 that the hot violin? She was, yeah, the hot, the hot viola player. Viola player. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then violin and B. But she's B, B's hot too. Okay. And then, and then they, the, yeah, that other day she's married, but she's good. She's a good friend. She's cool. <laughs> Bang drag. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it's, 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 it's still true. No, I stand by that. She's good looking girl. And then, yeah, and then Merlin joined. Yeah. He's now. It sounds like the forty. There's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, does, yeah. We're called, I think we are called the loose kites for, yeah, for, for yeah, many very, very good kites. reasons. Yeah. Become a bit of a folk ensemble. Okay. Yeah. So there's um. A five people, a five person base, more or less. Yeah, there's a core. That's like the room, isn't it? Almost. Yeah. 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 Cool. So you released your self-titled album, 2009. Yeah, I, I imagine we were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Oh, I don't know. Self-titled. 
that is. Just, just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Every band should have one. That, that's, that's, that's the saying as it goes. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and then you've, would you say you've, you've toured the whole country? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> From, yeah, Edinburgh, Glasgow down to Good Island London, as well. Bristol. Yeah, and Dublin. Yeah. Been over there a few, a few times. Yeah. yeah. Birmingham. Birmingham. Yeah, we did Mosley Folk Festival. Oh, in the Mosley Folk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere in the middle as well. Yeah. London, Bath, Bristol, Cardiff. Nottingham. Glasgow, Newcastle. Newcastle, Edinburgh. Yeah, 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 we've played everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Cardiff. Can, can you give anywhere you haven't played? Um, Abergalli. Chapstone. <laughs> <laughs> Abergalli. Yeah, 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 Sorry, that's one of my favourite places. Overseas. Yeah, Everybody overseas. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! It's Josh. Yeah, yeah. They're killing the office. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think he's alright now. Um, so, have you had the chance to go any overseas, any Europe gigs? Um, we did actually. Like the final countdown. <laughs> There's a big demand for yeah. Greece or something. It's your goals. No, we got. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Some guys are ruining cool. the podcast. Cool. <laughs> okay, I think they've stopped. Um, what was your question, Joey? Sorry. I can't remember now. <laughs> it was no. Europe. 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 Yeah, no, we got. Um, yeah, we got invited to play at Gaud Acoustica. In, uh, South of France, but I think um, I think Joy had a wedding. So. Oh, it's it's okay. you, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> How many times now? Six, seven. Six, he gets seven. married about six times a year. I mean, six to twelve times a year. Every time there's a gig he doesn't want to play, he goes and gets. Some Do his wives right? like always suspiciously die? Maybe <laughs> under circumstances personally I, unknown. <laughs> I think he likes to taste of wedding cake. Yeah, it's it's I don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll, we'll um, stop this for a minute and play uh, play a song from your debut album called Revelations. Any uh, backstory behind this? Can you tell us a bit about it? Um, yeah, it's well, it's it's a funny track in that a lot of people when we we when people speak to us about this track, they always imagine that it's about mortality or all sorts of different things. But it's actually supposed to when it was written, it was the idea of kind of. Um, Political control, if you will. I know, it was it was the idea that, 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 that um, keeping people scared, keeping people worried, is a sort of kind of a form of control, I suppose. Which it was a bit of a it was a bit of a railing against that. You probably don't get it, but <laughs> it was the, the idea that it was just, just this giant omnipresent threat that's kind of growing and getting bigger. And I think it was actually I think it, when it was written, it was when all that sort of war on terror. What song song. are we talking about? Revelations. 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 Yeah, man. Yeah, that's what it's about. No. It's about the war on terror conveyed in a jaunty book. It's the best it's probably more relevant now. Though. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. Mm. But then, I don't know, you read what you want into it, don't you? I mean, that was... I remember that being a kind of vague idea in my head at the time when, when the lyrics were wrote, but... Like I say, people are, people take take what they want from it, and they've... they've well, I do like the idea of mortality. I think it's an interesting. Idea. It's not an idea. It's, it's, true. it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are gonna die. Get over it. I like the concept. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna die. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, this is the song Revelations. It happened only yesterday, or maybe the other year, but I'm quite sure of this very spot, somewhere around here, around the corner, just before I was born, he came with such an uproar, people said, that daddy died, that daddy died, when it comes, we'll let it come. Stone in our shoe that keeps us on our toes, and so the feeling grows, they say. That daddy died, that daddy died. When it comes, we'll let it come.
image of the couple in the park Trembling together as it slowly rises through the scale Whispers of this coming and the changes that will take place They say that daddy died, that daddy died When it comes, we'll let it come It's blotting out the sun, terror from above within The taxi driver says it's calling out his name But he's got it, he's exchanged every ticket And now his number's up, he says we'll get there in a minute Da daddy die, da daddy die When it comes, we'll let it come That was the least cards with Revelations. Okay, well, okay, it was, it's 2011 now. Can we uh, expect a new album out at this year? <laughs> <laughs> Any time? <laughs> oh dear, yeah, we, la we, we laughed then because, yeah, it's a, it should really have been out last year. To a long be story. Though. It's a long, long story, yeah. Um, it's all recorded, um, and we're just, I don't know, we're just trying to get it just, just right. Really, just want it to be yeah. the best thing we've done we so far. We had classic issues. We did. <laughs> that a lot of people have when making an album with another person. Uh, yeah, so we had some issues. Uh, we tracked leads. I buggered off to um, Mongolia for a while with the hope that when I returned, that it would have been produced. <laughs> Unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and nothing had kind of progressed. So we'd had a bit of wrangling over this summer, and now we're basically kind of doing it ourselves. Well, well, to a point, so to a point. Yeah, we're, no, we're, we're kind of we're retracking a little bit, doing a, quite a bit of editing ourselves, um, but. The the big watch this space, I suppose, okay. thing is that we've got a new producer who's uh, quite I don't know, what do you say quite quite highly regarded, I suppose, is a thing. So yeah. we're just uh, just waiting to <laughs> <laughs> just just waiting to get it to get it all polished. And it's one of those things that we've got. We're actually in the middle of three albums. That's the thing. It's the second studio album, live at the BBC album. And live at Telford's, right. live at Telford's yeah. album. So we've got two two live albums in the second studio. But the, the, we're basically, I don't know what, three quarters through the whole lot. So it's just, and, and to be honest, that's the main reason why we've not been gigging, really, because we've just been doing all that side of stuff, yeah. getting all that that finished. So, is he heading for a end of year release? Um, I'm really don't like saying because <laughs> we never. We're really hopeful for an end of year. Okay. It would be yeah, that would be ideal. Yeah, so I think certainly one of them, one of the three will be released. No, which which one it will be, we don't know. Yeah. Top's open there, it's unlikely that the studio album will be done before Christmas. I don't think the studio album will be. It might be, you never know. 
You never know. But it's, we, we want to make sure we release it in the right way as well. It's, you know, it's not just sl slapping it on iTunes yeah. and then you know, hit for the best. It's Christmas about is a good time. No, no, I think we should go for a Christmas number one. <laughs> Christmas number one? Yeah. Yeah, we've done that. We've done that. Yeah, we've already, done, we've already had a Christmas one. Boring one. Yes, old, 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 old. Can you throw out an album name? Um, yeah. Do we do we let people know about that yet? Second we have coming. we have got we have the second, second coming. coming. <laughs> 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 we've got so long. Have we just? Should we? People are still yeah. waiting. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think right. it's, 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 it's um it's going to be called of bricks and brambles. Bricks and brambles. Of yeah. bricks and brambles. Yeah. Okay. I'm so excited about the album now. Well, it's no, it's got it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's better, man, yeah. yeah like it. right, it's good, it's good. <laughs> of, of Bricks and Brambles, that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll play a second song now. This is uh, Bonavardi Superficial Creed. Yeah, quite quite a long name there. It, it was a uh, it was a secret <laughs> track. Secret track. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not the longest actually. Really? No. Oh yeah, don't even, don't even get started. But, um, yeah, it was a secret track on the first album, um, which a lot of people didn't get to hear because if you bought it digitally, it wasn't available. You had to get the actual physical product. So okay. and if you we bought the physical product, you have to wait about six minutes before it. Thirteen. Thirteen, 13 minutes. Yeah, it arrives. Um, so if any of you guys out there have got the official original album and you haven't heard this track. Just be patient. Fast <laughs> <Just wait. laughs> forward a bit. Um, but yeah, I think I think no, you can get it as a B-side somewhere now. I think I choose there's a B-side of it on the single root back bar. I think it's root back bar. Oh no, that's no, that's the BBC. Oh, I, is it Revelation? Ah, yeah. oh, yes, it's the B-side to the track you just heard before. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're gonna hear it now. Pardon? It's a slightly oh. uh, different uh, <laughs> feel. To our other stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's got a very different feel. Yeah. More kind of chain gang, <laughs> like 1920s chain gang feel. Yeah, it is. No, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I vividly remember dragging a, a, a big girder in yeah, from, yeah. From, the, from the building yard next door to the studio and whacking, and, it. And whacking it with a giant claw hammer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, there Just you go. to get a little Okay, here you go. The loose kites.
That was Bonafide Superficial Creed. The loose kites are just talking over me right now. But okay. <laughs> okay um, now, it's, do you find it hard to be in a band and juggle, you know, a normal job? How, how does that work? I don't think any. I was going to say I don't think any. It doesn't work at all. Job. <laughs> um, no, it's. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I, it's like anything, isn't it? I mean, you find something that suits. I mean, I, I sort of do a bit of music lecturing and stuff, so it's fits in quite nicely with the sort of schedule and what I need to do for the band and it, it, I think the, most of us are kind of freelancers or have a bit of time with, where we can pick and choose when we work basically so it's uh, but it's yeah it's, it's, just leave me out of that <laughs> no, but, yeah, but you do freelance though don't you so it's a contract you can't do it mean I can pick and choose well that no, right. so every day I take off I lose money <laughs> That's what you mean by picking and choosing, yeah. <laughs> do, do you think you're anywhere near making money, making a living from the music? I don't know. It's yeah, at some point? Um, no. no we've, we've, all, we've all worked quite a long time and have careers to a certain degree. And you kind of get comfortable with your present earnings and what you do. And then to replace that all bit with something that you absolutely love, it would have to almost guarantee a certain level of yeah, that's true. revenue, yeah. comfort, security. Yeah. security. Well, security, I'm not bothered about a contract, I can lose my job tomorrow, but that doesn't really bother me. But to, to suddenly go, all right, be a, you can be a musician for the rest of your life, but you earn 10 grand a year, I'd be like, hmm, I think I'd like to keep my job and do it on the side, because I can't live off that amount of money. Well, I could, but I'd be a yeah, well, you could, but it's not. Yeah, but it's not what you, it's not what you want. Yeah, exactly, it's yeah. not what you're accustomed to. No, I want a hundred thousand pounds a year. <laughs> it's quite simple. You want to eat Michelin star? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to go to that bloody Every restaurant. No, it's Galaxy Yeah. Would it be fair to say though that we don't actually do it for the money anyway? No, I think it would be. Really. It's not like we're musicians. We're very grateful not, for it, then. Grateful for the yeah, I mean, well, it wouldn't happen is. without it. It's yeah. a business, nonetheless. It needs to make money. The mu it? music industry is changing anyway to a point where actually how many people can actually make a full-time living out of it that's worth <clears throat> yeah. think, Unless you're mainstream. I think really what you find from that is that you get a lot of good artists that are doing it because they want to and they're making a living in a number of different ways and yeah the whole landscape's Man changing horse. now yeah well you know but there's there's so many talented people out there yeah and at the end of the day you don't have to do it for, for your whole kind of working life you, you no. do it because you love it and no. the quality is better probably as a result because it's not being controlled by some sort of yeah. corporate well, empire that's the, or structure well, that, yeah, well, that's, that's totally true actually because one of the main points of the kites is that we don't really want to be that kind of mainstream kind of band really. however okay. we could write a cheesy crap three and a half minute Christmas song <laughs> well, <laughs> under a pseudonym and, and make half a million quid out of it. Play play the industry and, yeah. and you know, all these kind of ad, ad stuff and if you can make some money out of a little right. jingle you, then do it. Yeah. But, you but, don't make money out of music anymore. You make money out of as a music I don't know, it's sort of bold and grandiose statement. But you don't make money out of merchandise and selling things. You make money out of gigging, and, and that's sync, why synchronisation, sync, sync gigs. So yeah. selling your songs to radio, not radios, so adverts, Advers, companies, man. things like that. So you can do the next box or bloody Astra car <laughs> song or whatever. But that's why people charge you 25 quid to go for a gig now, whereas 10 years ago it was eight quid to go and see most decent bands because that's the only way they can physically make a decent living out of doing it is by gigging and charging 25 quid to do it. But let's talk about the worst or maybe the funniest thing to happen to you guys on stage. Can on you think stage? of any? Or even on tour? The first one kind of rings a bell with uh, bloody Jai. What was the that? drummer. Oh, oh no, no, don't. Not at the, at the, the Wirral somewhere, where was it? Oh, yeah. Rabbit, um, Rabbit Jack Slims. Yeah. That was brilliant. What, what happened oh. there? It was awful, but it was brilliant. He was so angry. We played a gig, um, and the, there was a few people there, to be well, fair. Well, we started off. Like they, told us the, they told us not no, to bring a, a drum kit. Oh, oh, so yeah, that was we turned up, and they said, 
Where's your drum kit? And we went, well, you've got a drum kit because you told us not to bring one. I said, and well, said, well, you haven't got a drum no, kit. No, 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 they did. They said it's in the back. Oh, yeah, that's And we right. went in the back and discovered like half a, drum kit. a bass drum, <laughs> a snare <laughs> which was broken. And it didn't have a stand. Yeah, it had no stand. <laughs> and a cymbal which was all dented yeah. and someone had been putting cigarettes out. Yeah. So, but I think initially they actually asked us, who are you? Yeah. What are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what you're doing. <laughs> And even though they didn't know we were supposed to be playing, they went all the stages over there and generally just left us to it. But uh, yeah, I had this great, great idea of kicking the bass... No, that was our idea. No, uh, this idea of kick, kicking the bottom of a chair out, so you've got no seat on this chair, putting the snare on that seat and then sellotaping the snare to the seat. <laughs> <laughs> the very only way of kind of having this thing. And then... And then we Plus played. we had a drum kit. Oh, we had a drum kit. So <laughs> it worked well. He constructed his own drum kit. Yeah, yeah he made a lot of effort. Yeah. Essentially, determination yeah. to play the gig. It don't, was. Yeah. Don't recall many mic stands being there. Either. It was just a pile of. But um, <laughs> we started playing and nobody clapped. There's loads of people there. Those weird. Kind of yeah, it was a strange. It was like playing to. Really I don't know. It's like they've been the races maybe, or yeah, there was like yeah, a yeah. wedding it's or something. I don't know what. It was a wedding crowd. I don't know what it was, but it was a crowd. Strange. We started playing and then. Everyone, they danced, all watching, they were all dancing, dancing and enjoying it, and then when we stopped. So Jai, bless his cotton socks, decides to shout down the mic, clap you fuckers, was it? <laughs> yeah. at, which point, at which point the crowd decided to take umbrage, <laughs> and side heckling us, and shouting at us, and telling us to go away. So we ran. We did. Oh, we did. <laughs> so we kind of ran. Did so you only managed one song? Or? No, we did. We did do. Four. We did. We did quite a song. The got the hell out of there. We just left. <laughs> yeah. It's this jar going. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my really heart sinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's open now. <laughs> it's all over. Okay. He didn't do it again, to be fair. No. That's the only that's the only sort of unprofessional moment I think we've, we've <laughs> ever had. Should have legged it, it, kicked him in the shins and legged <laughs> 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 left him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the only other unprofessional thing I've ever seen him do is when he fell off his drum stool when I was quite good. He went to sit back down after he stood up and the drum stool had moved and fallen over and he just oh, really? yeah, there, was the, <laughs> that's it, there was the time in Bath as well when we had that gig in the vaults. Um, and he lifted his sticks up behind his head to sort of oh, really go for the thrash. And there was loads of like kind of, what do you call it? Um, like dangly curtain, stuff. like dangly curtain, curtain, curtain stuff with like light and like fairy lights entwined in it. And he, he ended up getting his sticks <laughs> entangled. And then he was completely bound within 20 seconds. <laughs> good, <laughs> good, good, like, couldn't do anything. Was that the gig that we played, played in the blood so quickly? Yes. yes. So quickly that actually he gave up and started playing it half time. Yeah, <laughs> killed it half time. And because we didn't realise we were playing it so quickly, all I could do was laugh. So <laughs> the entire sort of two minutes of the last half of the song, we were just there gigging, going ding 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 ding. <laughs> That's hilarious. But all the three people that were there to watch it, that was hilarious. <laughs> really My like girlfriend, your girlfriend, though. and guys got. <laughs> I really like the time Jai, he sweated so much at Telford's that when he got up he was taken off the <laughs> background. <laughs> oh yeah, his shirt was covered in paint. I forgot about that one. I like the way they're all Jai based. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 that time we slept that yes, really old woman. <laughs> <laughs> Time you confess to have the smallest <laughs> willy of all, of all the people that you knew. When a small child ran up to him and called him Uncle Daddy. At <laughs> that time we got arrested for that thing that we can't mention. <laughs> there you go. Um, all right, we'll play our last track. This is a new one called Hold Your Horses. This is a live one.
That was the Loose Kites with Hold Your Horses. Right. Also known as. Oh, yeah, yeah, it gets. Yeah, it's, it's real, yeah it, does get, it gets called Citywide Panic sometimes. We have lots of songs out too. <laughs> okay. Just to confuse everyone. No, just to confuse us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there you go, that's it. Thanks for your time, guys. Thanks for listening. See you later.